Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial video for XBMC. I've noticed that some people are having trouble with XBMC understanding their files, folders, things like that. Um, I think this is the root of a lot of people's problems that have been commenting on my videos. So I'm going to show you guys how I have my files and folders set up. Um, this is not the only way to do it, but in my opinion I think it is the best and easiest way to keep things organized. But first you're going to want to make a folder for movies and a folder for TV shows. I'm on an external hard drive, I'm on a MyBook Studio. But uh, anyway, so you're going to want to create one for movies. Within movies you're going to want to title or make parent folders for each movie that you have. Um, title the folder the name of the movie that it contains. So Aladdin, I have Aladdin and then you click inside of Aladdin and you have the Aladdin movie. You have Aladdin NFO, banners, all of the other stuff. Just make sure all of these things are titled correctly or will not show up in XBMC. Also theme music will be there. Then you're going to have two separate folders for extra fan art, extra thumbs. Um, whenever you use TV um, or artwork downloader, it'll create these files for you if you want the extra fan art and thumbs, all that stuff. So that's where that goes. So we're going to head out of here and I will show you guys a collection. So we're going to go to Batman Collection Original Series. Now I'm going to bring up the movie database and that's going to show you guys how you want to title these collections whenever you have one. So I'm going to type in one of the movies I have for that collection, which is just the Batman one with Michael Keaton. I'm going to click on that. And down here on the left hand side under movie fact uh, under movie facts it says that it's part of the Batman collection original series so you're gonna want to name your folder the title of the collection that it says there so Batman collection original series now whenever I click inside of there we're gonna click on this and it will show you all the movies that that collection contains so as you can see we have Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. I have all of those folders and inside of each one of these can folders, or can folders, I can't even talk. Inside of each one of these folders, it has the movie and all the artwork and stuff just like before when I showed you Aladdin. Now within that parent folder, you're gonna want fan art, all that stuff that goes with the collection by itself. Like if you're going down your list and you're looking at movies and then you hover over the Batman collection, um, this is going to be what the fan art is and the logo and the theme music that's going to play. Now the theme music will play the whole time you're within the collection unless you put different theme music for each one. Um, I normally don't unless it's something that has totally different music or unless I want to have a couple different themes um, playing. Like on Lion King I think I have a few just because I like some of the songs that are on there so I'll have different ones that play but they rotate out so I put them inside of here. Now I'll have a um, list of how to title everything down below, but as you can see Batman was just like Aladdin that I just showed you. All of that stuff is in here. Just make sure it's titled correctly. Um, the name of the movie you can for sure make sure it's right by the movie database because that's where um, XBMC scrapers, some of them use the movie database anyways as its scraper. So it'll pull all the right information for you. So we're going to head out and go into TV shows now. And once again I have parent folders for each um, show. So I'm going to show you guys The Walking Dead just because I have a couple different seasons for that one. I have it arranged correctly in here so you guys can see how that goes. So within The Walking Dead, this is going to be treated just like a movie collection. So all of this goes with the collection, all this fan art, extra fan art, the theme music, just like with the Batman collection. Now each season you're going to create a folder for each season just like you would for each individual movie that's within a collection. So season one, we're going to click in there. Now this is season one, Walking Dead's Days Gone By, um, episode one. So <laughs> that was a mouthful. Okay, so on the movie database, they will show you guys how it is supposed to be saved. I mean, the different names and all that stuff can be found here. So we're going to put The Walking Dead. All right. And we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go down to season one because that's the one that we're in. But it shows you all the seasons there. I can't wait for the new season of The Walking Dead. I like zombies and things like that because I'm a freak. <laughs> no, I'm not really a freak, but you know, I like dead things and I really like special effects um, makeup and stuff like that. I think it's cool. So uh, this is the first one, Days Gone By. And so if you look over here at this one, all right, let me move this over so you guys can see. Okay. so. The Walking Dead, you're going to put the name of the TV show, so it's The Walking Dead. Then next, you're going to put 
the um, season, so this is season one, then you're gonna put an X, and then this is episode one, so you're gonna put zero one, and then you're gonna name the episode, so of course it's days gone by. Now, if it was, say, I don't know, um, Vato's over here, oh, yeah, that was said so white, don't make fun of me, whatever. Okay, so that one would be The Walking Dead, and then it would be one X zero four, and then a space, and then it would say Vato's, okay? So that's how you would title all of your seasons. And then once again, you know, you would have all the episodes for that season in there. Um, if you have any artwork for that season, it would go in here. Um, all that kind of stuff. I don't, most of it's already pulled in there for some reason. I, I have it set up differently. I haven't fixed the library part for that, but I already have all the um, stuff for it. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. Um, another thing is whenever you're bringing them in through sources, make sure you're adding your sources correctly. I'll do another video on that, but it would make this video super long. It's already getting pretty long. Um, just make sure that you do that. Also, on my um, Courtney Geeked Out Facebook, I did a um, picture guide for you guys. So if you are... Um, you want to take things slow, not necessarily listen to me rambling in the video, which you already have if you've gotten this far. Um, but if you need to, you know, to slow things down, you need a step-by-step -step guide. I did that on my um, Facebook page. The link will be down below in the description. But it'll show you guys exactly what I talked about and give you guys, um, you know, text um, info on it. So that's there. Um, questions, comment down below. Once again, I'm no uh, expert, but I will share the knowledge that I know and try to help you guys out the best that I can. Um, please subscribe for more. I'll be posting up videos pretty much every day um, with XBMC, jailbreak videos, all that kind of stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go check out my other videos, and I will see you guys again in another one. Bye!